Oh my goodness, this is very disturbing. This is titled Australian Mother Arrested. I found it on Facebook. Some, it's in different places I found it actually. Some people that are uh, friends of mine through this, knew me through YouTube, friended me. They're not family or, you know, former friends. Not that kind of friend. I don't hear from them. But once in a while, I do. And, um, anyway, so I, there were a couple of people who had posted this. Because I don't get on Facebook very often, y'all. So, if you try to link a video to me on Facebook, I may not see it for a week. But this is dated May the 9th, so I caught it pretty quickly. Plus, it was in the feed of somebody else that I am subscribed to. So, it was in several places. This is Tuesday, May the 12th, so it's just three days old, and it's 3.06 p.m., and I'm about to take Jasper out. Well, I just got some cute pictures of him. Yes, I did. But anyway, back to this story. It's in Australia. These people are standing outside. I guess it's their residential building. I'm not sure. There's like a big gate behind them. This one woman is wearing a sign. I couldn't really tell what it said. Something about freedom. And they're just standing out there to protest having to be inside. And even a little boy, this part wasn't even on the short clip they put on on um, Twitter. But there's a little guy, he's like eight years old, maybe 10 and short, <laughs> but he's actually talking to the police officer and saying, but isn't it true that if we stay inside, it's going to decrease our immunity? Isn't it better for us to get fresh air and sunshine? He's repeating what those ER doctors were saying. And I could not tell what the officers were saying. But anyway, they ended up arresting this woman who had like a four-year-old with her. Well, he started getting real upset because they're like threatening to take her. And if she didn't take that sign off and get inside. And she's like real calm, calmly. Here, Jasper, let's get you down and I'll take you outside in just a minute. Okay, it's so pretty out. Anyway, she snatches up her child and says, you're not taking him anywhere. And the people that were with her, you know, kind of congregating with her, and they were spread out, too. They weren't just right next to each other. They were spread out. But they were yelling, give us a child. If you have to arrest her, give us the child. And they were going, no, no, we're taking him. I mean, it's just, well, there's some bad language in it, okay? So you got some children around, send them out of the room if you're going to listen to it. But anyway, I'm going to end this here. I'll put the link in. Again, it's called, if you can't read the description box, Australian Mother Arrested. And the channel is... Nellio, that's capital N E L I O space Inc. I N C. It's a capital I N C. She only has 155 subscribers. She says, Exercising my rights, held a peaceful walk around Parliament House today. And what unfolded afterwards was unlawful and utterly disgusting to witness. Oh, she must be the one who was, you know, she said a mother holding her child was forcibly arrested and dragged onto the back of the police van whilst the police refused to tell us why she got arrested. After being asked multiple times, when is this ever okay? Is this what happens when you question the narrative? So anyway, this just happened. And it's like, isn't this supposed to be kind of like okay to go outside now? Or is it because they weren't wearing masks, perhaps? Anyway, I'm going to subscribe just to support her. 
and I'm glad they held a peaceful walk. It was peaceful. They were all quiet. Nothing was said until they, the police, a whole bunch of them came walking up, started it. They started it. Ugh. When is this going to be over? I tell you when. When we all get to heaven. When we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus. We'll sing and shout to victory. That's when it'll all be over. Because the new world order has taken over. And don't think otherwise. Get your houses in order. Spiritual houses first. The other, for whoever's left behind, leave letters, notes, whatever you think is best, and maybe some food and water, whatever you can afford. And with that, I'll say, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. I pray it goes far and wide. Hey, 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 you do not chew mama's chair. Not the wheelchair, man. None of it. This little guy had been chewing stuff up today, and I say, no, no, no. You interrupted me. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, myself, and my computer, and each and every one of you, your devices, and your internet connection, so we can stay connected and get the news as we deserve to have it. <sighs> Dear Lord, help. Please come quickly. I pray protection over all of you. All of us. These people. That should have never happened. I don't know what kind of... Of course, I don't know if that wouldn't happen here. I mean, I see people walking around. We go to the park. I don't wear a mask. There's no policemen around. But maybe they were in like more of a metropolitan area. You just have to see for yourself. There's a lot of buildings around. So it is more like a downtown kind of area. Okay, we'll end it at that. Talk to you later. Bye for now.